Got about three hours until daylight, I think. Did something get marked? The dead item shop is open. What? So there is a meaning to things being items being described as dead, like broken ampules, a dead item. Well, unfortunately, I think I just stored them all away. Yeah, I don't have any dead items on me. I am awfully curious, though. So it opens at a certain time? Very early in the morning? Man, I wish I could have multiple marks and, like, put my own notes for what they mean. Like, there's a dead drop here. Dead item shop. I mean, I guess it'll probably get marked again when the time comes. Right. To Var. Should I go along the shore? Yeah. Yeah. There's a rock in the way. How do I get across to the bridge? Oh no, I don't think I picked a very good way. Um. Okay, I see where I gotta go. Could really use some water too. I see some water up ahead. But that's further away from my goal. Ah, it's worth it. Just a second away. Yeah, I gotta get across this bridge and then go down. They're like fingernails. That sounds so creepy. Could trade him a match and a fingernail for a Kashik. Actually, coffee would be good. Hmm. I don't need it right now, but buys you more time. Yeah, I'll trade two fingernails for coffee. You can see the rays of that light through the through the leaves. It's really cool. spot where I'm sure I could feed it with blood. I don't have any of those. So there's no point. Ew, a bloody bandage. Well, I could take that to the dead item store. Um, this is the place. Oh my god, that, ugh. They look so creepy. We're closing. 
Where's Var? I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> that smile, stop it. He would, I'm Isidore Barak's son. The door to your right, then turn left, then go ahead and don't take long. That's up to me, pal. What do you trade in? Just pharmacy stuff? I almost want to buy Twyrine. It's so useful. It's only 120. I remember there was another place where I bought it for 80. Yeah, maybe I won't. Plus, I've got the herbs. <coughs> and I feel like I might be... I don't know. When I turn those in, maybe they'll make it into Twyrine for me. I don't know. Hey... I can trade with you. Hmm, just standard stuff as well. Oh, what just happened? Oh, hmm. I can't back out of this to see what just triggered. Ah, it's you. Did you come to talk about your father? Yes. Did you know him? I did. But that's not what someone as clueless as you should addle their brain about. You left this town as a boy. You never really knew it. And even those scraps are lost and forgotten now. Educate yourself. Breathe in the twire-soaked air. Get to know elders. Hurry not, Brock. Achieve respect. Then you'll have your answers. Heard you loud and clear, old man. Var, is it? Yeah, yeah. Only I'm not an old man. I'm a man who has no time for idle chatter and hates it when people clutter their room for no reason. Come back when you have meat. Got it, you spider of a man. See you. <laughs> Organs and hot blood on a counter just like that. If anyone finds out, I'm a dead man. But Var, he pays. Ugh. Okay, I need to get out of here. Anything upstairs? There's no way there will be. Nope. How am I doing on time? Doing really well, actually. It is going to take quite a bit of time, though, to take this boat over. Well, I want to get to the cemetery, so it's going to be this boat, so it's got to go all the way up here and around. That could take about an hour on its own, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so I can't get through these rocks. Which means I'm going to have to go the long way. Back across the bridge. There's the earth again. Wait, this is a different floating structure, isn't it? I think? Or is it? Shit, I can't tell. Anyway, I don't have time to explore it. Yeah, it's going to be 50 minutes. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you're the gun person. Alright. Cemetery. I can just follow the train tracks out this way, I guess. thousand eyes. It'd be interesting to go out there amongst all those... Um... What are those called? Like, tributaries? They're like spider work of uh, different pathways. The, the water has uh, chosen to end on, because you can see it. Like, the waterway goes down here. There's like one big channel, and then when it ends, it ends in a bunch of different little fingers. Might be tributaries, I'm not sure. What's this train doing here? Hm. Oh, is that the border of the cemetery? It is. It's bordered with stones. That's the only building here. It's locked. Maybe it just hasn't opened yet? Like I gotta wait a bit of time? It's the only way in. Okay, well it's 7.16. I suspect it'll open at like 8. Oh, this looks like a village. Probably where some step people live. That'd be interesting to go to. It's very out of the way. Well, while I'm waiting, I might as well go there, right? I just walked on somebody's grave. That's kind of rude, isn't it? They got bells on these people's graves. The fresh ones. <coughs> Can hear them tinkling. going to the village. I'm going to this, whatever this little thing is. Hmm. This looks like an important place. But I have no idea what it's for. Anyway, the village is off this way. Here we go. Yeah, that's the proper, like, full start of day two. Whole bunch of stuff, hello. Father's funeral starts at dawn, and I doubt it will take all day. Yeah, I'm glad I thought that I should be here early, because, well, yeah. Actually, I should turn around then. I thought it would happen at 8, but it started at 7.30. Hmm. What else? What do we have for thoughts? A son's fate is to avenge his father's death, but first I need to see the body. It's been foretold I will spill a river of blood soon, so that's carried over. If you hear the earth grumble, find the source, that's carried over. The father's funeral starts at dawn, that will take all day. So I'm guessing everything from the previous act is frozen, right? Like that can't go anywhere else? Let's go back. Whoa. 
herbs. Oh, I made a different noise because it was a different herb. Thank you, Mother Earth. Very generous today. Very generous. I think that's just music I'm hearing now. Oh, my hunger's super high. <clears throat> oh, what herbs did I get? So we got more blood twire. Also black twire. For some reason, the description's off the side of the screen. Herbs are the words of earth. She grants them to us. Um, that's the same. That's the same. Oh, it's the same description. Swevery. A weed. Who knew tinctures can be made from these, too? Swevery is plain but resilient. Brown twire. A lot of different types of twire. Blood twire, black twire, brown twire so far. Is, is this my father? Kindred one. M. Shen, brave man. Strong is his spirit. How fares your kind, M. Shen? Bite Karam, for he has come to pay last respects to his father. We have too. How fares your kind, Katanga? Bite Karam. She is at the threshold. The loss is great. A need to speak, to say the words correct. Observe the right. I've come to pay last respects to my father. Why do I see this sight? Kodokara, Barak Seger carried a great burden, owed a great debt. Who is to take his duty upon himself? Bekera, it's not that easy. What does he owe? He told us not, Dem Shen. He took it to the grave. You ask the wrong people. Too late, Dem Shen, now. The earth waits. Say now, do you accept his duty as your own? Oh, do I want to accept a duty from my father when I don't even know what it is? Hmm. Wait, I want to take a look at the body first. Many soon will leave. Hurry, M. Shen. Wait here. They say Earth wouldn't accept father, literally. Oh, is that what I'm seeing? Oh my god, is that... That's what I'm seeing. That's what this strange sight is. They tried to bury them, but the Earth wouldn't accept them. Literally, it's like pushed up to prevent them from being buried. Oh my god. Let's examine the body. Chest has been punctured. Massive wound. Couldn't have been a knife. Some massive cone-shaped object. A horn or claw, maybe. Ooh. I can pull away the fabric or just say I've seen enough. Could be seen as blasphemous if I take away every, you know, the fabric. It's my own father, though. Like, bloody hell, I have a right to. I should pull away the fabric covering the body now. Skin dry to the touch. Suspicious. Unusual degree of xerosis. He wasn't that old. I should continue the examination. Soil under his fingernails. Unlike him, always kept his hands clean. Three oddities, then. The murder weapon, the dry skin, and the condition of his hands. Yeah, so some sort of, sort of cone-shaped object, like maybe a horn or something. Unusually dry skin. Like they were extremely old. And dirty hands. 
yes, father was murdered, but I got the impression that something was unwell with him even before his death. Doesn't matter now, though. I mean, it does. It could have something to do with why they were killed. Kindred one. Wait here for you, yes. Say now. Do you accept what he owes? Before the eyes of the kin and the earth, this is what I have to say. I, his son, accept his duty as my own. The sky is my witness. A bow for you, Emshen. The first blood yours. Pekera, Emshen is a man, a brave man. Here stands Saba. Saba, uh, Uspte. You've accepted his duty. Now come into the inheritance. Saba will show you the way. Beartai, Keen, thank you. Not everyone who came to pay final respects to father knew him well, but someone here must have. All this music. Oh, it's so strange and creepy. Also, some time has passed. I can't talk with this music, it's too mesmerizing. Or is that the crowd chanting this? I don't, I don't know. I've accepted father's duty, whatever it was, but what does it entail? Father's body was interred as per the right. I haven't seen Aspidy since the start of the game, when we started on the last day. You're a brave man, Emshin, a true son to your father. I rejoice as I watch you. The Katonge, the kin, shed tears of pride and delight as they watch you. Thank you, Kate. Kate means sister elder. Is that what you mean to call me? Bayarla, thank you. You still remember something of your people's ways? Yes. We shall bear your burden together, Emshen. Your father helped me. I helped him. I shall help you too. In you, I see him. I always act first and think later. Again, got the scars to prove it. Your father was a wise man, but he wasted not his time on doubting. He acted instead of brooding. That's why his works were great and many. He who lives cautiously pacing circles in his own head spares himself, but wastes those he loves and those who love him. That song slash the crowd chanting for the funeral? was amazing. That was such a beautiful song. Haunting. I did the right thing. That's what my heart tells me. Follow me, Emshen. You are now to come into your legacy. Okay, I'm a little bit scared. Where are we going? Aspity, Peter Stamaton. Oh, what's that? Saba, also called Aspity, preserved father's inheritance for me. Hmm, so this is where Aspity lives, right? The step people who can't find a better home flock together at Saba's. Bizarre events occur here sometimes. Hmm, they have a save point and a bit for me. Huh? 
I'm sorry about Isidore, but we have not the time to grieve. Here's what matters. You are now to take your father's legacy. Take it, mind, not come into it. Pardon me, what? Here, I'm giving you his udar, his warm vessel. He gave it to me on the eve of his last holiday. Must have presaged the evil that would befall him. What do you mean by warm vessel? You're an odd one, M. Shen. You were brought up here, yet came of age far away. Neither fish nor fowl. Well, let us hope that your blood calls to you. An udar is a vessel where a man keeps all that is important to him. The things that... How do you say, your? Uh, things that preserve his essence. You will someday make one of your own. Ah, yes, I seem to recall that idea. I'm giving you his... Utkar. It's yours now, as are the things inside. Now, the money... It's a light purse, isn't it? Your father didn't care much for money. Okay, you said I would take my legacy, but not come into it. What did you mean by that? To take someone's obligations. A word is not enough. To come into a legacy. Taking the things is not enough. Your father's bequeathal is more than merely material. What else, then? His fate, his place, in the kin, in our hearts, and in our follies. I see. There's now emptiness where he once was. Who is to fill it? Who will heal the sick, tell truth from lies? Who will... Akara, uh, who will plumb the depths? Only a menku can cut a body. Only a menku can pierce the unknown. Who will draw the lines? Hmm. All this Menku talk is just a relic of a bygone age. Father was fond of it, yes, but the kin are extinct. You are wrong. Look at the items I'm giving you. Open the Utkar and touch those items. That's a lot of stuff. The step woman gave me bizarre items. What do they mean? I think they just gave me a bunch of herbs. I think more? Wait. Wait, did I just gain storage space? Am I just totally misremembering how much storage space I had? Or did I just gain this whole lower section? Yeah, put them there. Put the extra stuff there rather than stacking it with what I already have. What the heck? Okay, so they gave me a bunch of herbs and a list. A list of names. The handwriting is clearly father's. I need to touch this to read it. Sticky. Capella. Murky. Notkin. Khan. Grace. Taya Tai Cheek. And an unfamiliar step sigil. Who are these people? I recognize a couple of them. I've heard Murky. I think I maybe spoke to Sticky. I think that might have been the kid that was outside... Um, <coughs> excuse me. I think that might have been the kid outside my father's house. That was really rude and wondering why I was covered in blood. Mm. And Notkin, of course, we've talked with them, the leader of the not the soul and a halves. Khan, we've heard mentioned, I think they're up in the polyhedron. These are a lot of kids. Actually, they might all be kids. I think they are all kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. 
the eighth in danger. So now they're all on my oh my list. That's actually a whole separate section. Bones, nerves, blood, the list. Mm, yeah, Sticky's definitely looking at the picture. That is definitely the person we uh, spoke with outside her father's house. The eighth unfamiliar step sigil. How do I find most of these people? <laughs> Can somebody read? Is someone familiar with step sigils? I could read that. Like you. I see you in plain might. Do any of these items seem familiar? What are they? Swevery, various kinds of twire, herbs. Why would he leave me herbs? He used to make herbal medicine, tinctures to cure any malady. He was a manku, a knower of connections. He saw which things sing in unison when joined. That's what the lines are. Even if you say you need not this knowledge, M. Shen. And what about this list of names? Closer. Let my tired eyes see it. The names of local children. Khan is what they call the cane boy. Capella is the daughter of the master. May he choke on his name. But I know not why Isidore listed them. Hmm. The master's Vlad. <coughs> I know some of these children already. Which ones? Notkin leads a gang that keeps invisible pets, mature for his age. Hmm. He did pay much attention to these children. Spend most of his final days with them. They followed him like calves that trailed after a cow or oxen pulled by a yoke. Okay, how about this sigil here? This is a brand for marking bowls, but brands of the kin often have specific meanings. Bekara, this one is Uderg. Tough to parse. Yeah, it means something like a big body or a special body. A body that contains a lot. But I'm not sure. It may be just a sigil. Who could interpret this for me? I am your father not, Colburn. I can instruct you not. You are to learn on your own. Speak to people. Most of all, speak to those who knew your father well. This is how you may come into your legacy. What do you mean? In this place, you must come into your legacy through action, not mere words. By showing you understand the contents of the vessel. Follow your father's trails. Learn who he was. Find yourself a fate. A fate like a good wife, Emshin. Your wife. Wait. Wait, a fate like a good wife. There's that person that approached us. They said that they would find me later. They said that we were meant to be together. Is that the wife they're talking about? Also, they're a step person. Could the sigil be referring to them? The unknown sigil, the body that contains a lot? I choose to walk my own trails, Kate. Oh man, that just added a lot of things. Took my inheritance, but I haven't come into it. A right needs to be proven with a deed. Which deed will show that I'm truly my father's son? There is a familiar name on father's list. There's a list of patients, maybe, in father's vessel thing. These look like children's nicknames. Has anything been added to the map? Mm, Notkin. <clears throat> Notkin's on there. By Allah, Yargachin. By Allah. Follow his trails, M. Shen. Then you will know what kind of man he was, and what kind of man you are to become. Let me start with you. What can you tell me about him? Your father was a manku. He was respected for it. He was respected because he was a doctor. More than that. What else, then? 
he knew the lines. What lines? Lines represent the paths between things, the links that connect them, the laws that govern our lives. Between evil sky and kind earth is a line. The veins of our lifeblood are lines. A line carries the inevitable retribution for evil deeds. Family ties, the way children reflect their parents, those are lines too. Father used to say that lines, lines referred to anatomy. That as well. He knew how a body is composed because he knew the lines. He knew how a kidney links to an herb so he could brew a curative tea from it. He knew how one herb linked to another. He knew how to draw a knife to cut a body but bring no harm. I see. Now hear me well, M. Shen, for my next words are crucial. This first couple of days will be hardest for you. You will find yourself surrounded by lines innumerable. Some you must tear apart. Others follow. Others still cut yourself. Only thus will you reach the end. I have taken your words to heart, Kade. Douse your eyes. What are you planning to do? Where will you start? I'll look closer at the kids. Why'd he gather them? Who is this eighth? Suspicious. Hence me saying that he will only come into your legacy if you follow his trail. Do what he used to. All you Baraks are alike. Men of action. I've told you all I know, M. Shen. Be on your way now. Farewell, Saba, and thank you, Bearla. May your kind fatten. If I want to truly come into Father's legacy, I need to follow in his footsteps, whatever that means. Okay. Talk to the kids. Um... I wonder if my home has been unlocked. I should be able to speak with Sabrov to get the key if it hasn't. Because that would be good. I mean, who knows what kind of notes or stuff we could find in there that could be clues. Ooh. Our hunger's super high. Mm. I think I should eat all the Kashiks. Heck, let's eat the pemmican too. Jeez. Okay, well there goes all my food. How did I gain more storage space? I didn't have this before, right? Where did I get it from? Is it because of the vessel? That's where all the important things that make up who I am go? But of course you can put anything there. Huh. So all the people that have nowhere to stay, they kind of stay here. Very empty place, but it's a roof. What's going on here? This doesn't have a floor. All the windows have been bricked over? Is it... No, it's not below ground level. Huh. Hmm. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed it so far, and when I return, we're going to speak with Notkin.